let's talk about some ways that you can help support uh, your favorite content creators as a new year coming up so i just want to put a little video out to remind everybody on how they can support their favorite content creators no matter what the genre the community or anything like that this is going to be some of the basic ways on how you can support your favorite content creators now i'm going to talk about a few ways to support them non-monetary uh, with uh, some monetary ways that does not directly involve you and some monetary ways that does directly involve you so first of all like i said let's talk about the non-monetary ways so if you're actually going out there searching for a channel and like to watch the videos occasionally and you have, but you have to go because you're not subscribed but you go out and look for them just go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification on and that way you don't have to go out there and each time uh, search for the channel and and, and look, let's look, see what they have. So just go ahead and hit that subscribe button for them. Another thing to do is when you're going to watch a video, hit that like button. Or even for some reason you don't like that video that they had, hit that dislike button. That's engagement. YouTube sees that. They like to see the engagement part. So either or is actually, you know, engagement for that content creator. Another thing is watch time. Now, when, when you want to support your favorite content creator, go in there and, you know, watch a video, hit that like button and immediately leave. That's actually a negative, a little bit of a negative impact for that YouTube uh, creator. Uh, you, know, you know, YouTube sees that somebody coming in and immediately leaves. They think it's uninteresting. So when it actually really, they'd like to see at least 70% of watch time. That's, that means it's more interesting to that viewer. You no, know, of course, we as content creators would love to see watch see you watch the whole video, but as YouTube sees it, you know, at least seventy percent or even fifty percent is really good. But anything below fifty percent starts decreasing that kind of a negative impact. I mean, it's like increasing that negative impact on watch time and how desirable that video is. So, the more you can watch it, the better you are giving that content creator to give them more watch time as well. All right, another thing you can do is, you know, leave a comment. You know, leave a comment about the video, what you thought about the video, uh, anything like that that was related to the video. You can put that in a comment or even just saying hi or a little emoji saying waving. Some kind of engagement like that also helps as well. And if you're so willing, share out the content so you can see that content creator can get more views. Maybe get a few more subscribers. So those are some things that you can actually do to help content creators non-monetary. So let's talk about some monetary ways that do not directly involve you. And that is one thing is affiliate links. If they have affiliate links, say they talk about a product in their channel and they have an affiliate link for it. You, get, you know, you, you want to purchase that product. Well, use that affiliate link to make their purchase because they'll get a kind of a kickback from the affiliate link, you know, percentage of that sale to, uh, to them. So, or even like even some Amazon links, a lot of people put Amazon links in every single video, whether they're talking about a product or not, you just click on the, uh, Amazon affiliate link. And even if you don't want to buy that particular item, you can use that link. It brings also it brings up that item and you can go searching, you know, through Amazon and buy something else. As long as you use that link and make that purchase within like I think it's uh, 24 hours I believe it is they will get a kickback off that item that you purchase so those are some ways you can do non-monetary use those affiliate links and make a purchase now if you uh, monetary uh, ways to that directly involve you or I'll say uh, you know if they have a you know, buy me a coffee or some kind of link like that, support the channel and actually basically donating money. You can do it that way. That's usually like a, like a one-time thing. Or they got channel memberships. A lot of uh, YouTubers have channel memberships where it's like a monthly recurring fee. Sometimes they have different levels and then diff different levels, they have different uh, options of what they do at each, each level. So those are some ways as well. Or even during live streams of uh, your YouTube creators, you can do super chats. Actually, uh, they, not, not long ago, actually earlier this year, they came up with the super thanks, I believe it's called. Where you can actually do, it's kind of like a super chat for a video. So you can actually give them a, like a super, super thanks in an in a actual filmed a video that they put out. So there's some ways to actually do, uh, do it monetarily that directly involves you. So. Kind of think about that, you know, think about that when you're supporting your favorite content creators, 
you know, make sure you're subscribed. Give them that watch time, at least 50% or more watch time. That really helps the YouTube algorithm push their thing. So if you really like their content and you really want to support them, you know, just, just hit that watch button, you know. Make sure you're watching at least 50% or more. Of course, we'd like to see 100%, but anyway, of course, non-monetary. Uh, use those affiliate links and monetary. You got super chat, super thanks. Channel memberships are just directly donate using buy me a coffee or just say, you know, support the channel here. Sometimes they have a PayPal link to support them. So there's different ways you can actually support a favorite YouTube content creator. So I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you want to see beard product, mustache wax reviews, green product reviews, tips and tricks, live streaming every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern, at least most Sundays, hit that subscribe button for me and give me some likes. Give me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. All right. So remember, keep, keep your beards and stashes healthy. healthy. Till next, next video. video.